Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe right here in Tokyo, Japan, and we're going to do another edition of the da -da -da, Ghost Letters Report. Now again, the uh, woman who was behind creating uh, art, uh, even scenery, using a, a mold of her own vagina, and also create a kayak that's in a mold of her own vagina, has been arrested for a second time. Now, this time, the reason Miss Megumi Ira Igarashi, I believe I got her last name correctly there, has been arrested for providing a link that shows um, how to construct the kayak, which is molded after her own vagina. Now, this is, uh, she arrested under the obscenity law here in Japan, which says you can't show open, openly genitalia, which is ridiculous. Stupid, okay? It's so archaic and outdated. But why is this so true? Why is it that there's so much eroticism openly in Japan? But when an artist does something like this, suddenly that's obscene. That's taken over the line. And they enforce this, you can't show genitalia openly type of obscenity law. Oh, it's pretty clear. Now, if you know, a large majority of the eroticism in Japan is focused on a very male-dominated, male-oriented, male perspective of pleasure and sexuality and sexual gratification. But when a woman, an artist like Megumi, decides to create something that is an expression of her own sexuality, and as she has put in the past, to explore her own body, and encourage other women to do the same, she gets arrested. She gets thrown in jail. She's just labeled a criminal. She gets laid a, labeled a pervert and all these things. And it really all comes down to is the oppression of female sexuality in Japan. Now, previously she has stated that my vagina is not obscene. And she has also previously stated earlier in the year that I will not give in to the power of the police. Now I think she's full if in her rights. It is true in Japan that a lot of women here do not understand their own body as well as they should. Do not fully or are able to fully express their own sexuality and understand their body. What they like, what they don't like, what even certain parts of their body actually looks like in detail. So for all of you who want to you know jump on a bandwagon and say she's disgusting. How dare she be like this? Look at the context of what's going on here in Japan and why she's actually doing this. Her actual point, her actual purpose. Instead of just saying, well, it's all just a bunch of porn. It's more than that in this case. Far more. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with, her, what, with what she's doing. It's healthy and it's good for society overall here in Japan. It helps women to open up about themselves. Helping, it's helping women to explore themselves and understand themselves far better than a male-dominated expression of sexuality or eroticism will ever do for them. So at this time, she's still in jail. She has not been released. and We don't know if she's going to be released as quickly as she was last time. This time, it, it appears the police are determined to lock her up. Now, if convicted, she faces a very hefty penalty and I believe at least two years in jail, which would be a travesty. It'd be just shutting women up, basically. So, but I want to hear what you think in the comment box below. If you uh, enjoy this video, give it a like. If the first time you see me, please subscribe. You get lots of vids like this, and from time to time, a little surprise. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, right here in Tokyo. Checking out.